So, guys, what do you want to do today? We can go swimming. It's hot as balls outside. It is hot outside. Let's go swimming, guys. You guys have fun with that. I'm going to stay here and play Genshin Impact. What's Genshin Impact? What? You've never heard of Genshin Impact? <laughs> Are you gonna tell us what it is? Well, look at the screen! That's Genshin Impact! Whoa! That's so sick! Damn right, whoa. Well, Cody, what, what, what are you doing in this game? Well, you can run and jump. I mean, what other game can you do that in? None that I can mention. So you can run and jump and what else? Well, you can also climb buildings, like some kind of superhero who can climb things. Maybe he was bitten by an insect, I don't know. Oh my gosh, show me, show me! Look, look, I'm climbing that thing! Whoa! That's amazing! Yeah, check this out. You can also jump and hover, kind of. Look at me hover, kind of. Oh my god. He's like hovering, kind of. He's hovering, kind of. And then check this out. Goo 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 goo. Oh, wow! Oh, 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 guess what? You can also fight. Look at me fight this thing. I'm gonna fight it. Yeah, kick him up. Yeah, fight. Beat him. Beat him. Fight. Yeah. Beat him up, Joey! Yeah, I'll die. I'm sure I'm sure I'm fighting. It's taking forever to kill him. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does take a while, but that's just the game, you know? Uh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, okay. So, so what else can you do? Well, the best part is check out this hunky dude I'm playing as. Isn't he the, the sexiest, hottest dude you've ever seen? I mean, he is really not, I mean, I don't really like guys, Cody. Is there any girls? Oh, hell yeah, there's girls. There's hot ones, too. Oh, hot girls? I want to see the hot girls. Yeah, I want to see these hot girls. Check out the hot girls. This is Kicking. Okay. This is Barbara. Ooh, she's hot. That's Jean. Oh, uh -huh. mid. This is Amber. Okay. Uh -huh. That's Mona. Ooh. This is Fischl. All right. This is Raiden Shogun. Wait, wait, wait. Cody, 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 Cody. Who's that one? Who's that one? Oh, this? This is Ning Ning. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't think I should say that one. Oh, my. Oh my gosh, she's so hot! She's banging! Oh my god, I like her. I want to play as her. Wait, wait, I think her name is Ning Guang. Yeah, that sounds right. Ning Guang! Ning Guang! Yeah, I don't want to play as any of these girls, though. I want to play as Ito, that sexy hunk. Okay, well, can we play with you, Cody? Well, of course you can play with me, Junior. But we only have one PlayStation 5. Oh, Junior. What I'm about to tell you is gonna blow your goddamn mind. What? You can also play this game on your phone. Whoa! No way! Wait, I can yes. play a console game on a phone? Yep, you sure can. I don't know how the hell they pulled that off. Oh my god, so if I download this game on my phone, I can play with you on the PlayStation 5? Oh yeah, you can play it on PS5, on your phone, iOS, Android, PC, all of that. And it stops there? It stops there, yeah. Oh my god, well, I think my phone's dead, so let me go charge my phone and I'll play with you. So, Co uh, Jeffy, you play with Cody for a second. Alright, I gotta go grab my phone. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing Genshin Impact! Alright, Cody, I got my phone. Okay, Jeffy, get ready to check out Genshin Impact, an open-world action RPG game available on PC, Android, iOS, PlayStation 4, and 5. You can explore the vast, magical world of Tevat where seven kinds of elemental powers surge. Look at these awesome graphics! I'm sorry, were you saying something, Cody? I was downloading the game. Oh, never mind. All right, Cody, I'm going to pick Amber because she's got bunny ears and rocking cans. Yeah, she's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go in this place with the Kiki. Oh, look at the Kiki. Oh, look. Now I'm going to shoot the Kiki with my bow and arrow. <laughs> Wait, why'd you shoot the Kiki? Oh, I don't know. Well, come meet me for a second, Jeffy. All right, on your way, Cody. Hey, Cody, look at me. I'm a bunny rabbit. Boing, 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 yeah, boing. That's, that's really cool, Jeffy. Okay, listen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go fight a giant boss, okay? He's, he's like a big ice monster, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to run around and be a bunny rabbit, okay? Okay, well, he's over here, so follow me. Okay? All right. Boing, 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 you, boing, You don't, you don't boing. have to do that. Look, you, you can glide and stuff, see? Oh, yeah, I can glide a little bit, kind of. Yeah, so just come this way. He, he's down here. We're going to jump off. See? Okay, so we're going to hover, kind of, down here, right? All right, yeah, I am hovering, kind of, all the way down. Okay, so he's down here. He's like a big ice plant thing, okay? Oh, okay, what's his name? Uh, it's like Cryo, yeah, Cryo Regis Vine. He's that thing. Oh, I see him! Yeah, he's huge, okay? So just be really careful, okay? You're going to die in, like, two hits. All right, well, I'm going to do my best, and he's not going to touch me at all. Okay. I'm just going to shoot my bow and arrow. Yeah, you do that. Just hang back. I, I think I... Oh, no! He's shooting at me! Okay, well, be careful, Jeffy. Don't get hit. No, I haven't yet. He's not going to touch me. Okay, good. So I'm just going to run up and start hitting him. Oh, no! He hit me! Well, you said that wasn't going to happen. Well, I tried my hardest, Cody. Okay, well, just be careful. No, oh, no, he hit me again. He hit me. All right, now I got to run away. Okay, well, hurry, okay? I, I'm fighting him up here. All right, well, I got to go run in the bush and eat some food real fast. Okay, well, just eat quickly because I'm, 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 up, I'm up here beating the crap out of him. I'm going to eat as fast as I can. Okay, just, just you know, hurry. I need some help. All right, hold on. I got to hide. got to go into my inventory. Check this out. Oh, there's some ramen and some. Done? I mean, he's pretty tough. I mean, I, I'm doing okay, but like... 
I, I need your help. Well, I'm trying. I just gotta eat some more food. I got a whole supermarket full of food in my backpack. I'm trying to eat it. How did you get all that food? Okay, okay fine. I just found it. Are you done yet? I need some help up here. I'm coming back out right now, okay? Look, I knocked him down. Just help me. All right, I'm doing my best. I'm shooting my bow and arrow at him again. Yeah, yeah. You, you keep doing that. Well, yeah. oh, dude, we're doing so much damage right now. Yeah, oh, yeah I can power that one. Oh, we're doing a great job here. He's almost half dead. Oh, no, he's getting back up. He's watch getting back up. Good. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I gotta run away again. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Be careful, be careful. Okay, I, I, think, I think I'm doing okay. Just, just, just watch out. Oh, he's doing a big ice thing. Watch oh, out. He's I'm, I'm running. No, he hit me. He hit me again. I gotta go. I gotta go heal up. Jeffy, come on. What are you doing? I need some help up here. I have to eat more food. Jeffy, all you're doing is eating. Stop having lunch and help me fight this damn monster. I'm hungry. What? Oh, my God. How do you even have any food left? You've been eating this whole time. I'm, I, I'm obese. Je Je Jeffy, I need some help. I'm doing all the work up here. I'm trying to eat some more ramen and some, and some panda bear face pastries. Okay, well, I don't know what that means, but I need your help fighting the ice monster. He's knocked down again. All right, I'm coming back out. Okay, good. Okay, we've almost got him, okay? All right, I'm, ju I'm just shooting bow and arrows at his right, head. Oh, finally, we got him. Yeah, I did all the work. No, you did none of the work. You were having dinner. I was over there beating the crap out of him. I was hungry! Well, did you get the orb thing? Yeah, I got a blue orb and you're orange. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man, Cody, that was so fun! Maybe for you, you just ate the whole time. I had to do all the work. Well, let's go find another boss! Actually, I think I'm gonna go play by myself. Oh, man, Cody, I was gonna change my character! No, just let me know when you get good. Fine. I'll just change my character. Ooh, I'll play as Ning Wong. She's hot! I'm gonna run around her for a little bit. Oh, I wonder if she's wearing panties. Let's climb this wall and bingo! Panties! Houston can confirm panties! Jeffy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm playing this game called Genshin Impact. Check oh. it out. Well, Jeffy! Wait, 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 what are you, what are you, what are you playing? This, this girl's hot! Yeah, I'm just playing Genshin Impact. Alright, Jeffy, I, I think you should put the game down for a little while and, and let me play. I mean, go to your room. You're grounded. Oh, okay, dang. Yeah, leave. You're grounded. Because uh, I want to play the game. Ooh. Oh, man. She's hot. I wonder if she's wearing panties. Oh, bingo. Can confirm panties. Oh, man. This game is so much fun. What you doing, Marvin? Oh, uh, nothing. What's on your phone? Uh, no nothing. I, I was just searching for your Mother's Day gift. Mother's Day was last month, Marvin. Oh, uh, well, I guess, I guess I was just looking for no reason. Show me your phone. Th there's nothing to look at. It just died. Come on, Marvin. Show me your phone. Uh, I, I, I was, uh, I, I, okay. I'll show you. What is this? Th that's a game. It's called Genshin Impact. It's so much fun. I love playing it. Why are you playing as a hot girl? I, I, I'm not. Jeffy was playing as her, and, and I just started to play for him because I, he wanted me to play for him, so I'm doing that. Oh, yeah, that's the reason you're playing? Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. I can run around, and I can jump. Look, look at me jump. You're jumping a lot, Marvin. Yeah, I'm jumping because of the, look at the graphics in her, and she's good at the, she's good at jumping. Marvin, I don't like you playing this game. Well, no, no, it, 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 you love me playing this game because it, it brings us together, baby. What? It brings us all together because Jeffy was playing it. Now I'm playing it. Everyone plays it. It, it gets an impact. It brings us all together. Hey, bro, do you play Genshin Impact? Of course I play Genshin Impact. I'm playing it right now. Oh, you want to play Genshin Impact? Together? Yeah. Of course, see, look, it brings us all together. Kitchen Impact, it brings us together. It's such a, it's such a fun game because you can you can cook and you can fish and you can play with your buddies and you can you explore. And the map is huge. How big's the map? Oh god, it's so big. It's like the state of Montana big. Yeah, it's bigger than that. It's huge. Wow, and Marvin. Kitchen Impact, our life. Go, go, oh, okay. Yeah, so so it's Kitchen Impact. It's so fun. It's I guess you weren't lying. Yeah, it's the best game. It's the best game I've ever played. Best game. So how about you download it so we can play it and it can bring us together more? Yeah, maybe I'll play. Yeah, okay. All right, everyone. Let's start chanting Genshin Impact. Yeah. Genshin, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Go Genshin. download Genshin Impact for, for PC or PlayStation 4 or 5 or iOS or Android. I think those are... Hey, Dad, did you know that if you eat paper, then you poop out trees? That's not true, Jeffy. Yes, it is, because paper comes from trees, and trees are brown, just like your poop. And when you poop, it looks like logs. So you're basically just replanting poopy, stinky trees. Don't eat paper, Jeffy. Uh, I'm still going to eat the paper anyway. Oh, no, Jeffy, stop eating the paper. I'm all hot there. Give me the... Ah! What? You gave me a paper cut on my finger! Jeffy, it's a little tiny cut. You cut the bone! Oh, no, Marvin, we have to call a doctor! I'm not going to call a doctor over a little tiny paper cut. There's blood on where I think you hit an artery! Ah! Okay! I'll call a doctor! 
Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, my daddy cut my finger off. Oh my God, let me see. Do you think you can reattach it or is my finger going forever? Okay, that's just a paper cut. I told him it was just a paper cut. But it's all the way down to the bone. Okay, you guys call the doctor over a paper cut? Well, he won't stop crying and screaming and we don't know what to do. Because I'm going to bleed out and die. No, just put a Band-Aid on it. Baby, can you go please grab a Band-Aid? Actually, I think we're out of Band-Aids, Marvin. Well, no, I'm definitely going to bleed out and die. We don't have Band-Aids. <sighs> okay, look, I'm going to go to the store and buy you guys some Band-Aids. But that's me being very nice because this is not my responsibility. Yes, please go buy us some Band-Aids. Okay, I'm going to go to the store. Ooh, can you get me a Lunchable? Okay, I will get you a Lunchable, too. Does anybody else want something from the store? Yeah, actually, can you get me the rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy on the baby aisle? Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. Marvin, would you like something from the store? No, I just want you to get the Band-Aids. Great. Actually, I just realized, I don't wear socks with my shoes. And I'd like some socks, please. Okay, I will get you some socks. I don't have shoes. Is that you asking me to get you shoes? Yes. Would you like some socks for those shoes? I don't know. Maybe later. No, I, you know what? I'm going to get the socks now so I don't have to make two trips. Okay, let me see if I have this right. You want Lunchables, socks, and shoes. You want socks, and you want the rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy from the baby aisle. Am I forgetting anything? The band-aids. Oh, of course. The whole reason I was going in the first place. Ah, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to go to the store. Do not call me with anything else. You've reached your limit. Okay, let's see. I got the Lunchables, the Band-Aids, the shoes, the socks. Now I'm just missing the Rainbow Donut stackable bigger to small yellow stick toy thing. Where would I even find that? Oh, well, I guess that's what he described. Wait, there's a bigger one down here. It's not my fucking get out. <sighs> I can't believe I just bought all that stuff. Brooklyn guy, you were just too nice. Hey! Oh, please don't shoot me! Tell Giovanni I'll give him his money back! Wait, oh, sorry, I thought you were somebody else. You got any change? Oh, um... No, sorry, I don't have any on me. Well, you're a doctor. You have money. Well, I mean, that's true, but, I mean, right now I only got this card. Give me that. Um, okay, yeah. You know what? I'll give you my credit card, and you can go in there and buy anything you need, and then I'll cancel it in a couple minutes, so you have until then to buy anything you want. Thank you, credit card man. Okay, I'm going to call the credit card company and cancel that card. Okay, so should I cancel the card now or give them a minute to buy a drink or something first? I'm just going to cancel it now. <sighs> okay. Come on. Pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on. Time is of the essence here. We're sorry. We cannot get to your call at this time. Please call back later. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Not right now. No, no, no. We can't do that right now. I'm gonna call back. Come on. Come on. Somebody answer. I know somebody works there. Come on. It's not that busy. We're sorry. Fuck. We fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is bad. This is bad. There's a homeless guy in Target with my credit card. I gotta go find him while calling back. Okay, food, food. He's probably hungry, so he'd be in the food aisle, right? Like, where, where you at? Homeless guy. <laughs> Hobo. Anybody see a homeless guy with my credit card? He's probably got a buggy full of stuff. Like, really nice stuff. Uh, oh, hello? Sorry. Shit! Here's your crap. Ooh, I want my shoes. Come on, answer. Oh, I want my rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy. Pick up the phone. I want my socks. God damn it, they're not answering me. Who are you trying to call? Ghostbusters. Shut up, no jokes. I'm trying to call the credit card company because I gave my credit card to a homeless guy. Why would you give your credit card to a homeless guy? Well, he asked me for change. I told him I didn't have any Aww, change. Aw, these are too small. Well, you buy your own damn shoes. You didn't tell me your size. Can you return them? No, just wear those. I, I gave my credit card to a homeless guy because he asked me for change. I told him I didn't have any change. I had a credit card. And he said, well, you're a doctor, so you should have money. And I said, fine. Here, take my credit card. Buy whatever you want before I cancel the credit card. But I can't cancel the credit card because they won't answer the goddamn phone. I want my Lunchable. Wait, it's in the bag. Oh, I wanted a bigger rainbow donut stackable bigger to smaller yellow stick toy. Well, yeah, you're not my kid. Oh, I wanted pizza. You didn't specify. Everybody shut the hell up. What? Hello? Shit. Well, why don't you just call them? What, what do you think I've been doing? Are you stupid? What do you think I've been doing for the last 20 minutes? They're not answering the phone. Wait, wait, hello? It, it's ringing? It's ringing? Fuck! They're not answering their phone! Well, why don't you just call them one more time? Okay, okay fine. We'll call them one more time. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder if they'll answer this time. Nope! They didn't answer! What? Oh, look! The news! Breaking news, okay? The employees at my credit card call center are currently on strike. So if you have a problem with your credit card, your phone call will not be answered at this time. More so, credit card fraud is on the rise. So be careful who you give your information to. Oh, well that's just perfect. The day I decide to give my credit card to a homeless guy is the day the credit card workers decide to go on strike. Why don't you go on the website and freeze your card? I didn't know I could do that. I'm gonna try that. 
Let's head out the look. I got the lollipop. Oh, oh. oh, great! It says the website's down for maintenance and that I should call! What? The news! Breaking news, okay? The credit card website designers have joined in on the strike! So not only will you not be able to call in, you won't be able to log in online either! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! I'm living in a nightmare! Hey, baby, look, I got the really big ice cream cone. You wanna buy it? Aww, my Capri Sun is gone! That's because you drank it all! These socks are weird. That's because you put them on over your shoes and on your hands! You know, I feel like you guys aren't taking my problem seriously. Well, what's he spending your card on? Hold on, let me check. Let me check my Apple wallet. Um... Oh, good lord, this guy's going crazy. What? He spent $1,000 at Best Buy. He spent $500 at Leslie's Pool Supplies. He doesn't even have a pool. What would he buy there? And look at this. He spent $100 at Ruby Tuesdays and TGI Fridays. Pick a day of the week. Well, you're a cop. You can arrest him for all this credit card fraud. It's not credit card fraud. I gave him the card and told him to spend the money. Then why are you mad? Because I just thought he was going to buy a drink at Target. I thought he was going to cancel the card. Okay, well, then what's the last thing he bought? Oh, let's see. Oh, my God. He, he spent $3,000 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Why would even go there. Well, I mean, I guess he is homeless. He does need a bed and a bath and beyond. Well, why don't we go there and see if we can catch him? Well, he's gonna be gone by now. Okay, well, I know the owner of the credit card company. Why didn't you say so? Well, look, I'll go call him and tell him to come over. Okay. Oh, what do you want, Marvin? I'm stressed out. Why are you so stressed out, Goodman? Because my employees at the credit card call center are on strike. Why are they on strike? Get this. They want more money. How selfish of them. I have a yacht that needs gas. How is my yacht going to get from Tahiti to Morocco without any gas? Well, how much are you paying them an hour? A staggering, a mind-blowing 50 cents an hour. What? 50 cents an hour? You can't do that. The minimum wage in America is $8 an hour. Well, I'm not paying that in America. I outsourced. I built a call center in Thailand. So in Thailand, you can get a handy for $40. So I'm laying there getting one thinking, hmm, if you can give a handy for $40, you can answer a phone for 50 cents. So I hired 10,000 employees and paid them 50 cents an hour each. They were loving it, and so was I. I loved it so much, I bought me a Bugatti. Well, I have to pay for the Bugatti, so I lowered everyone's pay to 25 cents an hour. Now they're outside on strike! Well, could you just, like, raise their pay for, like, a day so they'll answer my phone calls? No! Because I didn't get to be a trillionaire by giving people what they want. I'm gonna let them stomp around outside like a kid at Toys R Us. This is a hard lesson they need to learn. They know worky, I know payy. Well, they were working just fine till you lowered their pay. You hush. That is enough out of you, mister. Well, could you personally cancel my credit card since you own the company? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I usually pay someone to do that, so you're gonna have to take that up with them. But as far as I'm concerned, I got $40 burning a hole in my pocket, and I need some beef jerky, and not the kind that you eat. Well, great. What are we going to do now, Marvin? Well, why are you still calling them if you know they're on strike? I'm hoping one of them has to go inside to pee and they hear a phone ringing and they want to help a desperate man. Okay, well, don't you have a brother, brother that's good with, like, computers? Yeah, so? Well, why don't you call him and see if he can hack into the credit card server to cancel your card? <gasps> Marvin, that's a great idea. I'll call him. What's up, broski? What's on your fly, Brooklyn guy? What's going on, Toyota-san? <sighs> Hello, Jonathan. Oh, I see you have socks on your hands. Trying to avoid a mess, I see. I do that sometimes, too, but it doesn't feel like the real real thing. Even though I don't know what the real thing feels like, I would assume it doesn't feel like socks. I would suggest rubber gloves. My feet hurt. Oh, rub them! Calm down, Jonathan. She needs her feet rubbed, Brooklyn guy! Okay, look, uh, the reason I called you is because I gave my credit card to a homeless guy, and now he's going on a spending spree, so I need you to hack into the credit card company's website and cancel my card. I thought you would have a challenge for me, but what's in it for me? What's in it for Big Johnny? Big Johnny? Yeah. Okay, what do you want, Big Johnny? I want a key to your house. What, why? That way I can go in whenever I want and get in your bed. But no, that's not happening. Well, fine. I want a picture of your wife's chest. No! Fine. I want one of her shoes. Ew, no! I mean, come on. They don't even fit. Ugh, fine. Here you go. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Why would it be? Oh, if I'm Popeye, then this is my spinach! I'm gonna go grab my laptop! Let's do this thing! All right, so I grabbed my laptop. What's your credit card provider? Goodman Bank and Trust. Oh, they have a level one security system. Easy. Uh, get past your firewall, and I'm in. But really? Just like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, he's making a lot of purchases on your account. Let's put a stop to that. And done. It's canceled. But really? It's canceled? Oh, yeah, but I can't reverse any of the charges that he made on your account. You're going to have to return all that stuff. But I can't return the stuff because <sighs> I didn't buy it and I don't know where the homeless guy is. Well, there's a homeless guy outside. He has a bunch of stuff. What? Show me! Okay. 
Yay, Fortnite! There he is, Brooklyn guy! Hey, asshole, you having fun spending all my money? Hey, credit card man! Yes, I am credit card man, I'm gonna be taking this back! Hey, you took my credit card! I took my credit card because you've been spending my money on pools and PlayStation 5s and TVs and TGI Fridays and Ruby Tuesdays! Yummy rib man! Yeah, I hope you're enjoying your ribs! Oh, don't be mad, Brooklyn guy, look at the life he has now! Yeah, I mean, I guess I do feel a little better that he, you know, made a nice life for himself here. You know, Marvin, I just realized your son hasn't asked for those band-aids I went out and got him. You know, it actually would be kind of nice if you paid me back for all that stuff I went and got for you. <sighs> okay, all right, I guess that's the last time I do anything nice for anybody. Gonna go catch me some food. Wait, what's this? You are here. Hey, look, it's me. Meet me here. Creepy hut in the woods. Okay. A note saying to come here. Come in. So, who's here? It's me! Ah! I thought you died! No, they tried to kill me. My stupid son shot me in the head. Good thing I'm hard headed. <laughs> But the van exploded. I jumped out, big whoop. Well, listen, I don't want to talk to you. You got me in trouble. What if I told you I could make you rich? I'm listening. How about this time? Instead of kidnapping Jeffy, we kidnap a whole bus full of kids. They'll give us like 20 million to get all those brats back. Okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, so tomorrow morning, go out and steal a school bus and bring it back here. All right. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Hey, Danny, can I miss school today since it's my birthday? No, Jeffy, you're not going to miss school. Come on, Marvin, let him miss a day of school for his birthday. But today's Monday. It's the first day of school. Oh, yeah, Jeffy, you can't miss the first day of school. It's the most important day. You guys suck. I hate you. Marvin, I am kind of nervous. I think I have PTSD after what happened last year. Listen, his mom's dead. There's no way he's going to get kidnapped again. Okay. Hey, Danny, after school, can we go to the strip club so I can get my willy wet? No, Jeffy, go to the bus stop. <sighs> Fine. What? Is that a dog in the road? Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. I hit a poor maroon dog. Why, God? Why? Ugh. Now, how do you start this thing? Oh, yeah, down here. Uh, yeah, listen to that baby purr. Hey, who's at my bus? Hey, get back here with my bus right now. Hey, hey. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man, I don't want to go back to school. I know I hate it, dude. Well, today's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Jeffy. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, dude. It sucks your birthday's on the first day of school. But he gets the best gift of all, education. Oh, I just want to punch Cody. Yeah, you're such a nerd, Cody. Shut up. No one likes school like you do. Oh, look, guys, it's, it's the bus. Maybe the teacher will let you go home early today because it's your birthday. Yeah, maybe. And hopefully there's strippers in your classroom. Yeah, hopefully. Let's go. Hey, where's our old bus driver? He called in sick. Okay. Junior, why you screwball our bus driver? He said Jackie Chu called in sick. But isn't he a kidnapper? Dude, he's a clown. Yeah, he's trying to turn his life around, Cody. Stop trying to profile him. Yeah, okay, but if we get kidnapped, I'm going to be mad. We're not going to get kidnapped. We're going to school. Oh, oh, he stole my goddamn bus. That piece of shit. What? What? Oh, my bus. Hey, motherfucker. Give me my bus back. Give me my goddamn bus back. Uh, guys, Jackie Chu's banging on the window. Uh, Junior, I don't think we're going to school. Uh-oh. Hey! 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 I'm gonna get you, you motherfucker! Did you get the bus full of kids? Yeah, I have the bus full of kids. Is Jeffy on it? Yeah, I think so. You think so or yes? Both. Are you sure it's really him this time? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, just bring him back to the house. All right, I'm on my way. So Marvin, what are we gonna get Jeffy for his birthday this year? Well, he's 19 years old and he already has a car. Then why did he take the bus to school? So he can see his friends for his birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe we could sign for an apartment for him. 
No, Marvin, he can't move out. Well, he's 19 years old, baby. He has to move out eventually. He's in the fifth grade, Marvin. Yeah, he's 19 years old in the fifth grade. Isn't that a little weird? Yeah. Who's at the door? Hello? Uh, uh, piece of shit! Piece of shit stole my bus! What? Somebody stole a bus with all the kids in it! But someone stole the bus with the kids in it! Yeah, I need to come inside and use your phone! I'll come inside! Baby, 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 where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? A clown stole the bus with all the kids in it! Marvin, you said Jeffy wouldn't get kidnapped! Well, listen, we just, we just gotta figure out what's going on. So, what exactly happened? So, I was driving the bus, and then all of a sudden I see Baroon Dog in the road. And I stop the bus, get out and check on the Baroon Dog, and then the clown jump in the bus and steal the bus with all the kids in it! Is the Balloon Dog okay? No, he popped. Oh no! So everything you did was pointless? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, let me grab my phone. You can call the cops. Here's my phone. It's already ringing. Hello? 911, what's your emergency? A clown stole my bus with all the kids in it! A clown stole your bus with all the kids in it? Yes! Is it some kind of prank call? No, it was a black clown with orange hand. He stole my bus! <sighs> okay, what color is your bus? Yellow. What, like a school bus? Yes. Oh, well that explains why there'd be kids in it. Okay, I'll tell my officers to look for a school bus with kids in it. But it is the first day of school, so it might take us a while to find the right one. But it is being driven by a clown, so I guess that's different. Okay, thank you. What'd he say? He's gonna do it. Oh my god, Jeffy got kidnapped again on his birthday! Poor Jeffy! Oh man, Simmons, I'm so glad we found this dirt road we can park at. We can just sit here and take naps all day. Nobody ever comes by here. Yeah, we're literally getting paid to sleep. Yeah, this is the life. Wait, hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Oh man, it's the chief. Hello? Officer guy? Yeah, it's me, chief. Uh, me and Simmons are doing so much work, we're arresting so many people. Oh yeah, so many people. Yeah, we are saving lives out here. Well, I need you two to be on the lookout for a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. Okay, what, why? Well, apparently the clown stole the school bus and kidnapped the kids. Okay, well, we'll be on the lookout for that. Okay, Simmons, the chief wants us to find a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. He was probably just getting pranked. Simmons, was that a clown driving a school bus? Yeah, it looked like it. Well, time to turn on the wee-woo lights. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Simmons, I think this is the stolen bus! Pull over, jackass! You're not getting away! Uh, guys, where do you think he's taking us? Ooh, mini Disney World! Yeah, he's probably taking us to Disney World! I don't think so. Guys, the cops are behind us! Oh shit, the cops! Hold on! What's going on? I think the cops are following me! Well, you better lose them! Alright, I'll try! Hold on, kids! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! You should ram them. What, ram them? Ram them! Wait, okay, I'm gonna ram them. Go, Dad, go! All right, I'm gonna ram them. Three, two, one. Son of a bitch rammed me. Mate, he went to the field. I know, but I fucked up the car. What? The car, I fucked it up. I knew I shouldn't have rammed the bus. Let's just pull over and look at the damage. Oh man, Simmons, the police letters came off. Uh, mate, we got a bigger problem. We got a flat tire. Yeah, but the police letters, though. Now how are people gonna know we're cops? We look like Walmart security. Well, we got the blue lights. Yeah, still not gonna help us stop the bus. Wait, I know where they're going. We could, we could cut them off with a roadblock. Come on, Simmons. Okay, Simmons, I know he's headed this way. So whenever he sees the roadblock, he's gonna stop and ask you to move. But then whenever he's stopped, I'm gonna run up and shoot him in the head with my police-issued Uzi with silencer and extended mag. All right, mate, sounds like a good plan. But what if he hits me? He's not gonna hit you, Simmons. This is a cop car, that's illegal. All right. All right, let's shoot some clowns. A roadblock, huh? You ram me, I'm gonna ram you. He's not gonna hit that cop car, is he? Oh, I hope so, dude, that'd be sick. Yeah, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Not 
gonna hit it. He hit it. <gasps> this thing ain't got no airbag. Sorry. Uh, he hit the cop car! Oh, that was so sick, dude! That was awesome! Ugh, that was the titties. I flew all the way to the front. Now that he's disabled, I'm gonna give him some Uzi! Come here, clown, you're gonna die! Dad, help me! Uh, Penelope, I'm coming! Oh my god, Penelope! How'd you like that RPG, huh? What? You're still alive? Die, man! Uh, oh no, I'm out of ammo! Die, coppers! <laughs> Got it, stupid ass! Get ready to join your daughter, you piece of shit! What'd you say? Die! Uh, die! Well, I made sure she's dead this time, but I lost my daughter, I lost my partner, and I lost all those kids. All right, Marvin, when Jeffy gets home from school, we can celebrate his big birthday blowout! You do know he's kidnapped, right? The cops are gonna save him, Marvin, and everything's going to be fine. We can have cake, we can blow up balloons, we can open presents, it's gonna be great! How are you so happy? Because, Marvin, I'm trying to distract myself! <laughs> that might be the cops at the door! I hope so! Hello? Hey, Marvin. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Did you find Jeffy? Kinda. Okay, where is he? Um, let me just come in and explain. Okay. Baby, it was the cops! Did he find Jeffy? He said they did! I said kinda. So, where's Jeffy? Uh, wait, is it your birthday? I don't want to give you bad news on your birthday. What? It's bad news? Yeah. Well, no, it's not my birthday. It's Jeffy's birthday. Oh, God! We're gonna have a big birthday blowout! Oh, God! Can you help us blow up these balloons? Oh, God! There's just so many pieces! Oh, God! When Jeffy sees this party, his face is gonna explode. Oh, God! But we have to finish setting up, otherwise it's gonna be a disaster! Oh, God! And I want this party to go perfect, because I don't want to kill a bunch of kids dreams. Oh, God! So where's Jeffy? Well, we did manage to find the bus, and we managed to stop it, but just as I was running to save the kids, the bus got blown up by a rocket launcher. What? A rocket launcher? Who shot that? Jeffy's mom. I thought she was dead! Yeah, we thought so too, but it turns out she only got shot in the head. She didn't actually die. The bullet was just stuck in her skull. But don't worry, I shot her in the head a whole bunch of more times, so she's definitely dead now. There's no way she's coming back next year with a bunch of bullets in her face. That would just be silly. So are the kids okay? I thought we were past this. They got blown up by a rocket launcher. Oh my god, no! Wait, 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 so Jeffy's dead? Yes. Oh my god, baby, I can't believe this. I, I mean, my daughter was on the bus too, so she's dead. And my partner, so oh, mine's kind of a little bit more sad if you think about it. I mean, I don't want to make this into a pissing contest, but you know, I mean, your kid was adopted. I actually had my kid, you know, adopted kid, blood kid. Seems a little worse to me. It's gonna be okay. And I'm still at work, you know, I gotta go around and tell people their kids are dead. That's sad. You know, I mean, throw some sympathy my way. Give me some boo-hoos. You know, I'm having a pretty rough day over there. Oh, I can't believe Jeffy died. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Uh, never mind. <laughs> well, oh, great. First my kid dead, and now they're sewing at the door. Uh, I mean, I don't think you can really compare the two, but sure. Oh, can you please answer the door with me? It might be someone scary. How many scary people do you get at your door? Can you please just answer the phone with me? <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. Marvin, it's the clown that kidnapped the kids! Well, shoot him! I don't have my gun! I might. Simmons? I thought you were dead! No, I escaped the police car. Then I ran over to the bus and rescued the children. Hey, Dad! Penelope! Jeffy! Wait, but Simmons, where are the rest of the kids? Oh, I dropped them off at their houses, and Junior wanted to hang out with his friends. Oh, good, but wait, 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 wait. Simmons, how did you get out in time? I saw everything explode! Oh, I'll tell you. Watch this flashback. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta get the kids out of the bus! Ugh. Come on, kids, get off the bus! That was a pretty cool flashback, Simmons. Thanks, mate. Come on inside! Alright. <laughs> Baby, guess what? What? Mommy, I'm alive! Oh my god, Jeffy! Thank goodness! Hey, I'm alive too. So that clown's gonna go to jail forever, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Multiple kidnappings and attempted murder. I didn't try to kill anybody. You rammed the cop car with your bus. Well, to be fair, we rammed him first. Hmm, I guess that's true. I guess they do kind of cancel each other out. But still, definitely the kidnappings, though. Alright, listen. What if I can make you some pretty cool animal balloons? I won't go to jail, right? 
Hmm. Nice try, but no. Go wait in the cop car. Okay. Wait, so you're gonna just let him walk to the cop car? He knows how to get there. Marvin, now we can throw Jeffy's birthday party! Yeah, you have a big birthday blowout! And go to strip clubs! Hey, I'm down. Simmons, drive us to the strip club! Uh, we don't have a car, mate. It blew up in the explosion. Wait, if we don't have a car, then how is the clown waiting in the car? Well, I don't know. I Ubered here. I is the Uber still outside? No. Oh, he ran away. Yeah, the clown definitely ran away. This could very well happen again. Wait, 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 wait. So, isn't it kind of cheap that the last movie had a big explosion and this movie had a big explosion? I mean, hey, look, Star Wars blew up the Death Star twice. A actually, three times, if you think about it, if you count the new ones, you know, so, so we're original, we're fine. Let's walk to the strip club. Okay. Jeffy, get in here! What do you want? You have a package from your Aunt Ernestine. Who's that? She was your aunt, Jeffy, and she died two days ago. Shit. While shipping you this package. Jeez. And it's been outside for two days, so you should open it. All right, here I go. <gasps> she got me a puppy? He's been outside for two days with no water in a hot box. Marvin, we need to call a vet. I'll go get the vet. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, we really need your help. Wait, what's with that button? Oh, the gay pride button? Yeah, if I wear this and the hospital thinks I'm gay and they don't make me do male physicals because they think I'm going to like it too much, which is fine because I don't like touching balls. And I get to be a gynecologist and not wear any gloves, and then afterwards I can suck my fingers like I got done eating baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back chilies, baby back ribs barbecue sauce. Anyway, what do you need? So his Aunt Ernestine died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but if she's already dead, I can't help her. Oh, no, we need a vet. Why do you need a vet for his dead aunt? No, I need a vet for this dog. Why did you mention Aunt Ernestine? It's part of the story. Well, skip the story and tell me about the dog. Okay, so this dog was shipped here two days ago in that box, and that box is outside in the hot sun. You left your package outside for two days? Well, no, it was in Jeffy's name, so we didn't know if we could open it or not. Well, did you give the dog any water? We didn't know if we could give him water. Well, of course you can give a dog water, and you should feed it, too. Baby, write that down. Okay, I got it. It's a Miracle, this dog's even still alive. If, if it survives, you should name it Miracle. Well, I was gonna name it Win Dixie. Why would you name it Win Dixie? You didn't find it in a Win Dixie. That doesn't make sense. He looks like a Win Dixie. He doesn't look anything like the dog in that movie. Well, I'm still naming him Win Dixie. All right, it's your dog, but just give Win Dixie some water. All right, Jeffy, we don't have any water here, so take him to the gas station and give him water. Okay, come on, Win Dixie. So then I tell the guy, fine, I will take my business elsewhere. Holy shit, Giovanni, look, PT Cruiser 2007. Oh my god, you're right, it's a PT Cruiser 2007. I tell you all the time, I always want PT Cruiser 2007. Ask him if he'll sell it to you. Oh, great idea. <sighs> Nice car. Thanks. PT Cruiser, 2007. How much? She's not for sale. <laughs> oh, cute dog. I love dogs. Utsusuyaka Metsuka. Niet yet situ saku. What? What did that little shit say to me? Hey, 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 hey. Sorry about my friend. You have a nice day, sir. You do. All right, Danny. I just got Win Dixie some water. All right, drink the water. Drink the water! Jeffy, you need to put it in a bowl. No, he can learn to drink out of his straw or he'll have nothing at all. Good boy. All right, Jeffy, me and Mommy are going to go watch a movie tonight. Are you going to be safe home alone? Yeah, I think me and Winn-Dixie are just going to go to bed. All right, good night, Jeffy. Come on, baby, let's go to the movies. All right, come on, Winn-Dixie. All right, Winn-Dixie, it's time to go to bed. But first... <laughs> What's wrong, Winn-Dixie? You couldn't possibly want the bone that I chew on every night before bed. <laughs> you do? <laughs> All right, well, go get it. <laughs> Why does it do that? <laughs> All right, Winn-Dixie, good night. <laughs> Look, brother, the PT Cruiser 2007 from the jerk off at the gas station. He wouldn't sell it to you. I said we take it. With pleasure. You ready? Let's go teach that mother heifer a lesson. That PT Cruiser 2007 is mine. All yours. Soon you will be mine, my baby. Brother, we're going to have to break in by busting the door down. Why not just open door with door code? What do you think the code is? What year is PT Cruiser? 2007. Oh, well, it was 2007. All right, we're in. Time to find keys to PT Cruiser 2007 and get out. But bro, it could be anywhere in here. Well, we better start looking. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Keys are not under the table. Keys are not under chair either. 
Oh look, brother, it's cute dog from gas station. Little dog, where are keys to PT Cruiser? What do you mean what year? 2007, obviously, is best year. Brother, kill this nut. Okay. <gasps> Win Dixie. God, that stupid nut is dead. Ah, Win Dixie! Brother, what are you doing? Kill this stupid brain. Okay. Ew. Where is PT Cruiser key? Yeah, where is it? Tell us if you want to live. I already killed stupid dog. Oh, bro, look over there. I'm here. Holy shit. Key to PT Cruiser 2007. Let's get out of here. Does <laughs> Vidonia, bitch. Look, brother, we did it! PT Cruiser 2007! His dream come true! And it drives better than I thought it would! Let's take it back to shop. Duh. Marvin, I can't believe you made me watch a movie about a bomb! I thought Oppenheimer was going to be the sequel to Pinocchio! What? Oh my god, Jeffy! <gasps> Jeffy, are you okay? Oh my god, Marvin, someone beat him up! And someone killed his dog! Marvin, Somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, someone beat up our son. Wait, more buttons? Oh, yeah. See, I found out June is Gay Pride Month, and if you're gay, you get that month off, and I really want June off next year. So I told Henry in HR that I was gay, but he didn't believe me, so then I kissed Julio the janitor in front of him to prove it, but then he caught me brushing my teeth and throwing up immediately after, so I decided to wear all these pins to hopefully convince Henry I like knob. Anyway, what's going on with you guys? The dog is dead! I told you to give it water! No, someone beat him to death! Oh, I didn't know you guys were friends with Michael Vick. Hey, can you get me his autograph? What? No, no, like someone ran to beat him up and someone beat up Jeffy too. Oh wow, what happened? They killed my dog and stole my car. Huh, that reminds me of the time somebody killed my dog and stole my car. Wait, that happened? Oh yeah, let me tell you about it. So back in the day I had a wife and then she died. It's not really clear how she died, like I guess she had cancer or something, I'm not really sure, but what matters is that she died. And then after she died she gave me a puppy, N not like she came back as a zombie or a ghost and gave me a puppy, she just like had it delivered after she died, I'm not really sure how she arranged that, but what matters is that I had this dog, okay? So then I go to the gas station in my 1969 Mustang, and it's a really nice car, and then these two Russian gangsters there, and they tell me how much they like my car and they want to buy it from me, and I tell them it's not for sale because I like it too much, and that pisses them off. So later they come over to my house, and they beat me up, and they kill my dog, and they steal my car, and now I'm really pissed off. And what they don't know is that I'm a legendary hitman, and nobody's supposed to mess with me, so I want revenge. Also, I'm friends with the Green Goblin. Like, he's not literally the Green Goblin, he's the actor that played the Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe, but the whole time you're watching it, you're like, Mm, that's the Green Goblin. So I get revenge on these guys, right? And I shoot a bunch of people and I kill all of them and I get a new dog. And then my daughter calls me and she's on vacation in France with her friends and we're talking on the phone and she's telling me how it's going and then she gets kidnapped while she's on the phone with me. And then I get on the phone with the kidnapper and I tell him how scary I am and how I'm gonna track him down and he doesn't really seem to care. So then I fly over to France and then I kill him and find my daughter. And then on the flight home I find out that my plane is full of snakes and I have had it. I am sick and tired of these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. And then I'm a fish working at the whale wash, and I want to be famous, and I also owe a bunch of money to this puffer fish and his jellyfish henchmen, so I decide to pretend that I killed a shark, and then everybody loves me, and they think I can protect them from sharks, and then real sharks show up, and then after that, I fell asleep, so I don't really know what happens. Also, I was voiced by Will Smith. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, none of that actually happened to me. Those were all movies I saw recently. But still, you should get revenge, Jeffy, because what they did was messed up. You're right. I'm gonna kill them all. Be careful, Jeffy! Oh, and then I was a little red crab and my friend was a mermaid who wanted to be able to walk. Hey, boss, you like? Whoa, is this a 2007 PT Cruiser? <laughs> sure is, PT Cruiser 2007 classic. Wait, where'd you get this car from? Some jerk off at gas station. I killed his dog. <laughs> Wait, did his face look like this? Yeah, pretty much. You idiot. You killed Jeffy Wick's dog and you stole his car? Uh, what's big deal? What's big deal? I'll tell you what big deal is. Jeffy Wick is the most gruesome hitman in the world. He once killed a man with a pencil in his nose. No, I'm not scared. Well, you should be. Okay, I'm a little more scared now. I'm going to call my dad. 
Come on, father, pick up cellular device. Hello, son. Hello, daddy. How is your day going? Well, people keep telling me I screw up. What did you do this time? I steal Jeffy Wick's car and kill his dog. You did what? I do bad. Yes, you did very bad. I in trouble. Yes, you in very big trouble. You go and give me spanking. No, I don't give you spanking. Jeffy Wick give you spanking. With gun. No, I beat shit out of Jeffy Wick. He put no, he's going to kill you. Not if I kill him first. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have baseball bat. Brother, come, we go and kill Jeffy Wick. Hey. <laughs> Jeffy Wick, what are you doing here? That's my car. I, I know it is, and you can have it back. I didn't send anybody to steal it. They just didn't know any better. Will you tell them that I'm coming for them, and I will kill them? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will. I got one question for you. Who's shit in my diaper? Uh, I don't know, you? Correct. <sighs> I swore I'd never kill again, but now I have to whip out my big fucking goofy purple Fortnite pistol to kill those two guys who killed my dog. But I have to go to sleep first, because I haven't gotten a full night's rest. <sighs> No more Mr. Nice Guy! Jeffy Wick, come out to play! Huh? Huh? They're here! Time to die! He's upstairs. You want to go first since you have gone? Sure. Where are you, Jeffy? Holy shit, you killed my brother! Screw this bit! Hey, I don't miss. <laughs> All right, I am safe here. Where are you, you Russian piece of shit? Right here, you American piece of shit! Oh no, I'm out of ammo. What am I to do? Ow! <laughs> I need somewhere to hide. In here! Don't look in here, I'm just coffee cup! Shit! You ready to die? Oh, come on, man, it was just a stupid dog! All right, Daddy, I got my revenge. I'm glad, Jeffy. Now, can you take that ridiculous wig off? No, because I still got three more sequels to make. You killed my son, you bastard! 